hopefully you that made it through, you're still here, so that's a good thing. He that endured to the end shall be saved. And so you've endured so far the first two chapters of Ted Dorman. And so if you're still here, that's a good thing. I know that some of you probably have thought about apostatizing by this point, uh, especially in the middle of that second chapter. You're like, what in the world am I reading here? What's Brother Vern doing to me? <laughs> and um, uh, But nevertheless, we finally made it to chapter three. And, and I'm not saying chapter three becomes tremendously easy, but as you know, we're finally in, in an area in which I think it's a little easier for us to follow as laymen at this point in chapter 3. So uh, we're talking no longer about revelation and special revelation, but now we're talking about the doctrine of God, okay? So um, it's, beautiful. it's a beautiful chapter. We're going to talk tonight about the, the names of God. Uh, we're going to talk tonight about, after he talks about the names of God, he talks about um, the attributes of God, and then he talks about the Trinity, that, which is the nature of God. And so those are the three things we've got on the agenda tonight. And again, we could spend three weeks on all of those you know, topics, but I want to keep us moving in here. We do need to finish this thing at some point and get back to reading some decent material. <laughs> <laughs> something maybe that's a little easier for you to understand. So, but at the same time, I hope you've been blessed. When you started reading in that chapter, the names of God, aren't those fantastic? The names of God. And, you know, there's a famous theologian by the name of Wayne Grudem, and he's got a systematic theology book that's about that thick. This is a doctrinal book, which is really kind of a snippet of what would be in a systematic theology book. But um, at the end of every chapter in Grudem's systematic theology is a hymn. Now, some of you said, hallelujah, Brother Byrne. He's right with the Lord, isn't he? Then he puts a hymn in there. But um, one of the things that he's teaching his students and anybody that reads his theology book is that theology leads to uh, praise, doxology. It leads to glorifying God. And really, you know, we study theology, and some of you, you're learning some things maybe, um, who knows, I might be boring you to death, but regardless, um, the reason we study theology is so we can get a clearer picture thinking deeply about our wonderful God. And at the end of the day, it should cause you to fall forward and to prostrate yourself before the living God and praise Him for how wonderful He is. I mean, if you think about this chapter, the fact that we're going to talk tonight about the names of God, about the characteristics of God, His attributes, um, and the fact that we're going to talk about his triune nature, that's enough right there to just cause you to say, well, hallelujah. I mean, that'll make a Methodist shout a little bit. You know, uh, that's how good it is. And um, so anyway, I hope you've been blessed a little bit. And even though there is some deep plowing <laughs> and some hard plowing, there's some, there's some hard soil here to plow through uh, because this is, again, this is, not a, this is not a Sunday school book. This is a doctrinal book for college students. Uh, but hopefully through all of that, you came to a point where you're just, you are blessed by at least something you've read. Maybe you'll learn something along the way and that would be great as well.